Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, a seismic watch, solar climate forcing, and more as plasma filaments are dancing around the limb. We begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star with the bright active regions turning through. Southern Corona Hole presenting itself fully with a trans-equatorial trailing portion into the north. There have been no more solar flares. Hopefully you recall that in addition to turning towards the limb and to the far side, the C-class flare we did get in fact split the active region and this morning we can see she's about to depart, still split down the middle. Solar wind dropped out intensity even more and all is quiet both at the sun and in the geomagnetic system. We've got about three days until the solar wind from this corona hole arrives at Earth, but magnetic connection to it and lithospheric alerts begin today. Let's go to the weather and begin with Australia because we've mentioned their record heat numerous times, but now the northern rains have broken a record of their own. This footage in Queensland comes as the river breaks its 118-year flood marks in an event that is unmatched in the lives of every single resident there. Up next, it's the United States because this week begins a week of record-breaking cold. I understand even Chicago's all-time low is in jeopardy. And the worst of it will occur after a load descends into the states and then jet stream blocking creates the harsh longitudinal wind flows, which won't be so bad for the North Pole at the west coast of the country. It's just that everyone else is getting the Arctic blast. Up next to China, or rather Antarctica. Either way, every year we hear about the voyages getting stuck in the ice and needing rescue. It has been China three years in a row here. And speaking of China, turns out that they have some of the same La Nina-driven flood events that add extra snow to the European lands during those oscillation phases. Everything ENSO related is not only critical, but will be amplified in the solar grand minimum coming this century and a magnetic reversal scenario. Lastly, folks, speaking of solar forcing, I was checking out the CMIP6 official climate data solar numbers to see why some of the recent studies were looking a lot like the past versions. Well, they are offering the data sets without particle forcing for those climate scientists in pure denial and those unable to cope or comprehend the magnitude of solar wind, CMEs, cosmic rays, etc. that hit our planet every single day. Hope you catch that right there in the middle. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. There are three days left to register for Observing the Frontier 2019. No denial there. Solar climate forcing, Micronova, magnetic reversal, and more. Love to see you in the desert here in just three weeks. We've got your world wind maps followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.